Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chap. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer apps and games from the internal storage to your micro SD card on the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So first of all, obviously you'll need a micro SD card. I'm using a Kingston 64 gigabyte UHS-1 Class 10 card, but there are loads of others available. All you need to do is put the SD card on the SIM card tray and pop it back in the phone. Right, so let's get started moving some apps. I'm going to use Modern Combat 5 as an example, as it's quite a big game at just under a gigabyte. But before we do transfer it to the micro SD card, I want to see if there's any difference in the app launching times between opening it on the internal storage and then on the micro SD to see if it's any slower. So I've got a timer here. I'm going to start Modern Combat 5. There's nothing running in the background. It's following a fresh uh, restart of the phone. So let's see how long it takes. Right, so just over 13 seconds, 13.32. Uh, we'll come back to this later when it's on the micro SD card and we'll see if it's any different. Now let's move the app to the SD card. If you open the settings menu, scroll down a little bit and then click on applications, followed by application manager, you'll see a list of all your apps which you can scroll through. Now, I'm gonna go down to Modern Combat 5 as I say, because that's the uh, example I'll be using. So as you can see, 0.93 gigabytes, quite a big file. So tap on storage, and then as you can see, it's currently using the internal storage. So then tap change, and then we can select SD card. It takes a few moments to transfer the app, and obviously depending on the size of the file, uh, dictates how long that takes. But when you're ready, tap move, and it will start exporting. Once that's finished, we can now see it's using the external storage. So that's successfully transferred, and uh, Modern Combat 5 is now on the micro SD card. So the big question is, is it any quicker, is it any slower uh, using the SD card storage as opposed to the internal storage? So let's bring back my trusty Galaxy S7 Edge and its timer to see if there's any difference. Thirteen point four nine seconds. That's just zero point one seven seconds longer than when I booted it on the internal storage. But I think that's within the margin of error, considering I'm just judging this by eye. So as you can see, there's not much difference between them. So you may as well transfer big apps and games to the SD card to save some room on your internal storage. It's also worth making sure the camera stores photos and videos to the SD card as well, since they can take up a lot of room, especially if you're recording in 4K. So go to the camera and the camera settings, scroll down to storage location, and then tap on SD card. One of the benefits of the new S7 phones is you can record unlimited 4K uh, video. It's not restricted just to five minutes like it was before. Uh, so it's definitely worth putting that on the SD card. So I hope you found this little tech tip on how to transfer apps to the SD card useful. If you enjoy my videos, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you again right here on the Tech Channel.